It's the video. It's got a lot of people talking on social media today. Earlier this week, we told you about a South Dallas neighborhood overwhelmed by these dangerous street stunts that are going on. But who wasn't there? Well, police officers took a while to show up, and now one group is trying to change that. Our Steve Pickett went to South Dallas to get a firsthand look. I've been here since I was about 30 years old. 87 year old Theodore Davis's Wheatley Place neighborhood block near Fair Park. And right here, I don't see too much going on here. May maintain quiet by day, but commotion by nightfall. But I can hear talk of stuff going on. He's not the only one hearing that stuff. The idea of senseless, irrational behavior, whether it's car spinning or shooting someone, has become the norm in this area. Reverend Omar Jarwa leads Urban Specialists Incorporated. His fight against the saturation of violence, crime, drugs, and gangs along 16 streets of South Dallas that align Malcolm X Boulevard includes a call to do more than march. These 16 streets from Lamar down to 2nd Avenue need more attention, the Rosedale community. So we're trying to get this community to say we, we expect life to be just like it is up north. Up north, police are paid, often funded by neighborhood associations, as private security patrol. Jarwar met today to find a way to finance private policing here. If it happened in Deep Ellum and it happened in Prestonwood, Malcolm X is just another street. So it can happen right here. So we, and we are expecting it to happen. That was Steve Pickett reporting. Urban specialists believe that they would qualify for grant and donation money to pay for off-duty uh, police patrols in South Dallas. We'll let you know the result.